ونحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي ربنا زدنا علما اللهم فقهنا في الدين آمين May Allah give us the correct understanding of our deen and may Allah enable us to implement whatever we learn. Ameen. Today's dua is very easy, very beautiful, and very short. But before we get to the dua, let's just look at this beautiful quote by Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah. He said, it is the easiest form of worship. What? Dhikr. Dhikr is the easiest form of worship. Using the tongue is easier compared to actions of hands and feet. Do you guys agree? So when it comes to zikr, you can do the zikr while lying down. You can do the zikr while walking around. You can do the zikr while you're sick. You can do the zikr while you're driving. You can do the zikr while you're cooking or even right now in the class, right? While taking notes, you can do zikr. No one can stop you, right? Subhanallah, alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar, la ilaha illallah. So easy, very easy on tongue and alhamdulillah, very rewarding at the same time. So inshallah, this is something we need to remind ourselves of that this is also worship. The dhikr is also ibadah. So you're doing one ibadah by being in this class. And on top of this ibadah, you're doing another ibadah of doing dhikr. Alhamdulillah. So now let's understand our dua for today. And our dua for today is dua 12. أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق Translation. I seek refuge in the complete, perfect words of Allah from the evil of what he has created. The hadith is from Sahih Muslim. The hadith says, Abu Huraira radiallahu an, he reported that a person came to Allah's messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he said, Ya Rasulullah, I was stung by a scorpion during the night. Thereupon he said, who? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Upon listening to this, he said, had you recited these words in the evening? It would not have done any harm to you. If you would have done it, then you would have been saved. Subhanallah. So this is what we learn from this narration from this hadith. And we're getting the words of the dua from Sahih Muslim, hadith number 6880. So what's the highlight of this dua? We are seeking protection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with all his words. When we say tamat, which means complete, what does it show? All the words of Allah, which can be used for protection. And this is something so smart. In this easy breezy short dua, we're asking Allah to protect us with all his words. What do you guys think? Isn't it cool? Many times we think it's a short dua, you know, it's easy, it's, it's okay, let's skip it. Instead of that, I'm gonna recite this and that. For protection, you can recite whatever for protection, but don't miss this. Because this is again from Sunnah and not one hadith is mentioned about it. There are many hadiths. So let's look at some other hadiths to do with this dua. Khawla bint Hakim, he reported, I heard Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa saying, when anyone lands at a place and then says, I seek refuge in the perfect word of Allah from the evil of what he has created. Same dua as you can see. The Arabic from here, same, exactly same dua. But when this should be said is different. If you say that whenever you land at a place, nothing would harm him until he marches from that stopping place. So when you are in transit, then make this dua. There's another narration, which is very similar to what we're, what we're covering uh, for our reference dua for today. It says, a scorpion stung a man and he did not sleep all night. It was said to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa so and so was stung by a scorpion and he did not sleep all the night. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said, if he had said last night these beautiful words, the scorpion sting would not have harmed him until morning. So again, what did we learn? When should we say it? Let me ask you. First of all, how many times should we say this? Right, so how many times? One time that we know. And when should we make this dua? In the evening, all right? In the evening, that's one. And secondly, when you are landing somewhere, right? When you are traveling and you are stopping by. When you're traveling and when you take a break. You know, a lot of times when you're traveling, we see service centers, 
right? And the, usually when you're traveling or driving to a distant area, distant land, the service stations which are on the way, they're usually very spooky places, isn't it? And it's not fun to stop there, right? It's kind of scary. All right, so this is a dua for protection. And we're asking Allah for protection, right? So again, whenever it comes to du'as, another thing we need to keep in our mind is that it's not the du'a which protects, all right? It's Allah who protects. Du'a is a call to Allah. So based on the other hadith, which talks about when you land somewhere, that gives us, you know, a lot of room, subhanAllah, right? So whenever you land anywhere, right? Whenever you go to any new place, then you can make this du'a and that will be totally mastoon, right? Because that narration doesn't say exactly where. Alhamdulillah, right? So that is so cool. So that also gives us some room to, inshallah, make this du'a whenever we need it. So when you are going to a new area, right? When you are passing through a new area, when you are going to a new city, when you are taking a transit any, in any new country or any country, not even new, new as in new for you, right? So it's strange for you. People are different. Areas are different. You're scared. The language is different. You don't know where to go, what to do. So that is the time to make this du'a. In any hospital, because you know, hospitals kind of scare us too. And they're new for us, like new areas, new wards, new doctors, pretty much everything new. And you're landing there and you're not, you're not going to stay there. You're going to move on from there. Any hotel, any place. This du'a for protection is from all kinds of evil and all kinds of suffering. And we should get in the habit of making this du'a so that Allah protects us. Everything and everyone has both evil and good. Remember that. Even people and things. They can be evil or good. So when we make this du'a, we are trying to do what? We're trying to look for the good and we are asking Allah to cancel out the evil. That's the beauty. So the believer, he looks for good even in the evil and he draws closer to his Lord by doing this. May Allah make us among these believers. Amin. And this dua is an example for that. When it comes to evil, there are four basic types of evil. Or you can say the four types of evil, which are, we can say, major type of categories of evil. One is magic. One is the darkness of night. One is shaitan. And one is the creation. Evil of the creation. What, what does that mean by evil of the creation? It can be any insect. The creation can be any, any animal, it can be any beast, it can be any human being. It can also be our nafs. That is also a creation of Allah. So these are four basic types of evil. When we make this du'a, we're covering all four, subhanAllah. That is the beauty of this narration. Let's look at the word-to-word -word translation. أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق أعوذ, I seek refuge, بكلمات with words. Allahi of Allah, at-tamat, the complete, some people translate it as perfect, both are good, min from, shar, evil, ma, what, halaqa, he created. So subhanAllah, when we say with Allah's words and all of them, Sheikh Uthaymeen mentioned that when we say this, we're actually saying that, oh Allah, protect me, even with my words, which are used for protection in the Quran, for example, Surah Al-Falaq and Surah Al-Nas. Subhanallah. So you are saying, oh Allah, even those words. I want protection from all of those things as well, which are mentioned in those surahs. And not just those two surahs. That was just the example, subhanallah. All his words, because it says, tamat, complete, all. All words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which can be used for protection. We're asking Allah to protect us through that. This is just mind-blowingly amazing, subhanallah. An easy way to memorize. So let's just listen to this dua with Sister Asma and try to, inshallah, improve our pronunciation. And after that, we can share a few thoughts before we conclude. Cool? Okay, let's do that. Bismillah. بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق أعوذ 
And also teach this dua to your young ones. If you have children, teach them. If you have your younger siblings, teach them, especially when they're going to a new school, when they are going to a new college, new university, and even when you get a new job. You know, any place new where you're worried, then you can make this dua. So we need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's protection from that shirt. And this is an easy, breezy dua. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.